On that note, we are back at your favorite show, Sankofa. I'm your host, Lolo. And today we are at a different setting. We are at a salon here, right here in the heart of Mondesa. This is the House of Beauty Salon. And we're going to be talking to the owner here of the salon. If you follow me, you will see that I'm, a, I'm somebody that supports local businesses and uh, SMEs. Uh, by the way, SMEs contribute 12% to the Namibian GDP. And it's very, very important that we support SMEs as much as possible. Uh, yeah, on that note, Melissa, please introduce yourself to my audience. Hi, um, this is Melissa from Wintook. I was born and raised in Wintook, and I'm here in Soko. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, Melissa, tell me, where did the salon idea develop? Where did it come from? Yeah, ah, guys, it's a, it was a journey. It was a journey. Tell since... us about that journey, please. <laughs> Since childhood, um, hmm. my mom was working as a domestic worker okay. for the owner of Chardonnay mm -hmm. in Windhoek. Okay. And I used to come with my mom along to her work, but then her boss would always say, um, don't you want to come with me to my office and whatnot? Mm -hmm. So I would always go to, with her to the salon and go sweep the floors mm -hmm. and clean there and yeah mm. um cleaning the later on i became a shampoo girl in mm. uh, from the shampoo girl coloring the white hair cutting and whatnot mm -hmm. so yeah so it's a whole long journey so all <laughs> along you had the idea of having your own salon in future yes seeing I my see. mom's boss was so inspiring to me mm. so i had to i had to push to come to mm. yeah it was so it was something that was with my, you yeah. yes, for a long time me. Yes. i see i see i see okay now did you when you start up when you started up did you have any funding or did you start from your own resources uh basically uh, my husband now mm -hmm. uh, yeah help me become the person that i am today he mm -hmm. believed in my dreams because mm -hmm. i had to run a uh, rain from this uh, this salon to the other one in you know being mm -hmm. in this thing mm -hmm. yeah it's not easy it's challenging it's challenging yes but you started with your own funds we did we did from our pockets mm, <laughs> yeah. your, now if there's any viewer currently that uh, has the desire to own his own salon mm -hmm. what would you what would you what would your word be to such a person uh you know it's not easy Honestly, mm. it's not easy. The starting up and mm. whatnot, I had to run around mm. um, looking for, for, for help from my, from my government. Mm. I had to be in and out in the offices just to mm. get uh, starting capital, but mm. it didn't. It didn't. Mm. But I, that didn't stop me. Yeah. I didn't give up. So yes. uh, if you believe in yourself, Yes. You will, you will come, you will get to it. Sure, sure. So sure. just believe in yourself and mm. don't stop trying. Mm. Don't stop trying. In, oh. in all, in all of it, don't forget mm. God. He's ah. the one that, yeah. Behind your success. Yeah, behind all. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, in your journey, have you encountered some difficult customers, people that are coming back, demanding their money back? They're not happy with how they were treated or whatever yes yes can yes, you share yes. some of those experiences we are we are, we are human mm. and yeah there are customers that are coming mm. you won't believe they high like mm. this and that and that and that and i'm but like you handle them no i we handle we know how to work you know if, if 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 you have the spirit in you if uh -huh. you have god in you yes you know Every it's leading you it, it guys. Makes it, so it makes it easier. It makes it easier. You handle yeah. them. Wow. They come down. You mm. I don't know how to explain that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now Melis, you are also a married woman. You've got a family. How do you balance between your business and home? Mm -hmm. How do you? Um 
Yeah, it's quite difficult. Na? It's quite difficult. But managing the time. Managing the time. Mm. Because I have to like run here while I have appointment for 8 o'clock. Sometimes mm. I'm coming 9 mm. o'clock. Mm. <laughs> yeah, preparing the family. And guys, it's, it's, but you're it's coping. not easy. But we are, we are pushing you're through. Managing. We, are, we are managing. Mm. Yeah. I see. Managing. Now, how do you operate? Have you got now your, you've got everybody works for you or I understand at some salons people rent chairs and what or spaces in mm. the salon. How do you operate? Yeah, um, for now we are having one that is renting the chair Okay. in the barber. Okay. A professional barber, guys. Okay. <laughs> Which is now 50-50. Mm. And right. then I have an employer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hairdresser that works for me. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, now in terms of the administration of the business, this is most now a, a business. Mm -hmm. uh, do you do everything from your from finances to bookings to whatever? How do you cope with that? Um, we have a receptionist, but then oh. uh, on that part, uh, at the finances in things my husband hmm. is there my husband is actually okay so account, he has, is oh. also a good advantage for me <laughs> yeah, i believe so, so. Yeah. i believe so so obviously he does the financial yeah. part and so on yes i oh, see okay no it, it's good to 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 uh, talk to somebody that really is an sme mm -hmm. you know we've got so many so many young people that are unemployed and this yours, I believe, will be an inspiring story to many people out there who are uh, possibly having some funds looking at what to do. So, and others might have an idea of a salon. And uh, just by watching this interview, they it might ignite something in them. Now, have you perhaps got any of the employees that would want to quickly come up and say something? You, there's an event that you that, that's coming up. Yes, would you like yes. to tell us? Or yes. is there anybody um, that... Uh, we will call upon my brother, Mr. Jupiter, the guy that does threads, guys. He, he does threads. Yes, he does threads. Okay, dreads. now before he comes, oh, yes. Before he comes, tell me uh, uh, everything that happens here, everything that you do. Okay, we do nails, so we do hair, we do makeups, mm -hmm. we do lashes, we do brow paintings, mm -hmm. we do threads. There's a barber. Mm -hmm. and yeah, everything that makes a person beautiful, man. Ne? We do it here. Yes, now give them the location also, man, quickly. The, we are in Mondesa, as uh -huh. my brother said, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Lolo said, mm -hmm. in the heart of Mondesa, um, F&B, mm -hmm. old building. Okay. Yeah, it's... Opposite old, Vurman Brock. Yeah, opposite Vurman Brock, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the first okay. door at your right. Okay. Yeah, bo, the that's where we are right building, now. That's where we are it's a, that's where it's all happening eh? that's where it's happening if you guys um, ah. this is the makeup actually may see me ah. hey. uh -huh. <laughs> so if, if any lady can come in here and look like you my when they walk out here it's just huh? a pity that i didn't do my nails because uh, oh, oh. ah. okay <laughs> all right now can the gentleman come that uh yes, that we we'll talk yes, about the yes. event the opening okay before we get to that let's go to a quick break and then after the break we will continue Thank you. We are back with the second part of our podcast here, and I'm joined by uh, Mr. JP. Mr. JP. Uh, Mr. JP. Yes. Tell us what's your role here, my man. Yeah. Actually, let me say my name is Jupiter. Uh -huh. Yeah. But in shortcut, we say JP. Right. Yeah. My role here, I'm a hairdresser. I do dreadlocks. Yeah. I specialize with all type of Reds, uh, yeah, mm. including fox logs and anything what we call about reds. I see. Yes, I see. Threads, threads are quite popular these days. Yes. Uh, so there's a, there's quite a market for them. Eh? Yeah, for sure. Ah. Yes. Now, is there like a specialized skill that you learn somewhere to be able to do that, man? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Is it? Yeah, I learn how to crochet. Is it? Where did yes. you learn that? Yeah, actually, I can say I learn it from Zoom men. From Zim. Yes. You're from Zim? Yes, man. Ah, welcome, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's great to have you, man. Yes, thank you. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Now, uh, there's, an, there's an event. Tell me before before I get to the event. Yes. How long does it take, on average, per person to do dreads? 
Yeah, I can say it actually depends. The the longer the hair, the longer the it time. Takes. Oh. Yeah, the shorter the hair, the shorter the time. Ah. But more or less, I, I can say uh, two to four hours. Two to four hours? Yes. So it can actually be done in a day? Yeah, for sure. I see. Yes. Okay, uh, do you mind sharing the prices? Yeah, yeah, yes, I can, I can, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. What, 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 like, uh, what do you do? You charge per per age group, or do you have a special rate for kids? Do you have another rate for adults? Yeah. What, is, what, what, what are the rates? Yes, we do have the rates. Yeah, when it comes to kids, when it comes to short hair, mm. uh, we normally charge more or less more or less two two hundred to two hundred and fifty Namibian dollars. I see. Yeah, when it comes to adults. Uh -huh. If it comes to short hair, then it starts from 300 I see. Uh, up to 450. Ah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, tell us about the event that's that's upcoming, man. Yeah. We are actually having a very big event, which is coming mm. for the birthday of the, of the uh, salon. salon, the okay. House of Beauty. Okay. It's going to happen on the 29th of July. 29th of July. July, yes. Okay. Yes, it's going to happen here in front of the salon. Okay. Yes. So, by the way, we're gonna put down some information about this event in the descriptions below. So, mm. just check that, please. Okay. Okay, you can proceed, no matter. Yeah. So we have uh, different artists who are coming to perform, okay. and also celebrate the birthday together with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many yeah. birthday would that be now? Uh, this is the first. This is first, the first yeah. year. Yes. Ah, the first, the first anniversary. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yes. you're celebrating one year. One year of the anniversary. Yes. I see. Yes. So what can we expect on that day here? Yeah, we actually going to have a, 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 a music uh, from different artists, mm -hmm. and we are also going to have some uh, jumping castles for the kids. Okay. Yeah, and also we. Uh, trying to also give uh, uh, something to the community mm -hmm. where we are operating. So we'll oh, be, in the community that you yes, operating. where we are operating. So we'll be mm -hmm. picking up kids from uh, maybe different schools mm -hmm. uh, around the the heart of Mondesa. Uh, you know, it's called at the mm -hmm. moment. So we we are trying to give the kids maybe uh, school jerseys and oh, you know, yeah, tracksuit, yeah. That's an commendable thing. Yes. For such a small business to already start with corporate social responsibility, that 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 is a that is a commendable thing. Uh, yes. For my viewers there. Yes. So that that's a beautiful thing, my man. Yes. I have to I have to say that. Thank you, man. Yeah. Would there be any meat here? Talk about food, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We we're gonna have food. We are going to braai. Ne? Yes. Yeah, man. We are going to braai. So uh, everybody is welcome. Celebration, most. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, and drinks as well. Everybody has to come and join us, right. and 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 have fun together. Who are some of the artists that might be here? Yeah, we have Kalux here. Kalux. Yes. Kalux, the man. The man. Yeah. Okay. So mm. they have to get ready for him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, that that in itself is a, it's it's another collaborative. Yes. Uh, that, 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 that those are the kind of things that it really makes me feel good. Yes. When young people and SMEs and people generally collaborate. Yes. Like Kalux is an artist. Yes. He comes and joins this event yeah. that's, held, uh, that's hosted by a salon. That's yes. a beautiful thing in itself. Yeah, exactly. And then the public gets to come and buy some, some meat here outside. Yes. To come and dance outside. Exactly. While the operations are ongoing. Yes. Here. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. It's nice, man. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you for your time, man. Unless there's something else that you uh, that you want to say to my audience. Any it, last word? Yeah. 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 So uh, to to the audience, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll say we are going to wait for you people to come and join us okay. and they have fun together mm. and also support us in our business as, mm. as we are trying to uh, grow up a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. There you had it. Mm. Please come support 29th of July. Right? Yes. 29th of July. Uh, everybody in Soko Moon is invited to the grand uh, uh, what not opening uh, the, but, uh, the, the anniversary, the first anniversary, first yeah. anniversary of House of Beauty, Beauty Salon. Yes, across Burman Brock here at the FNB Bin House. Yes, right here, the first office here. On your right, yes. On your right. Wow, nice. Thank you, my man. Cheers. Okay. Hey. Well, let's
we are back for the last session of uh, our little podcast here in the house of beauty i like this place man thank you yeah it's it's warm actually it's it's warm it's cozy mm. and uh i like the atmosphere i like the vibe it's who we okay are. we are back for, for the last session of uh, our podcast here Melissa. Uh, from your side, JB told us now what to expect here, and we've heard that Kaluks is going to be here. There's going to be meat, there's going to be music, and uh, there's going to be something for the community. Would you like to expand on that? Yes, yes, yes. Um, the birthday batch is actually um, the theme of it is giving back to the community. That's the theme. Yes, that's wow. the theme of the birthday wow. batch. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, there will be, as he said, there, there will be uh, kids given. Some Jesus school shoes, you know, it's a bit cold in Swahili. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And for, for, for uh, as I have seen in the past few, I don't know how to call it, but yeah, mm-hmm. um, all uh, elders, I should mm-hmm. say, our brains are mm-hmm. neglected. Mm-hmm. They are honestly neglected. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was thinking of mm-hmm. also. Um, Giving a hand to them Giving as well. Giving a hand to them as wow. well. So we will be also, to the elderly. Yeah, yeah to the elderly. We, will be mm. also, we don't have much. Mm. As, you, as, mm. as, as you had the salon, it's the mm. first birthday. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the salon is still a baby, but mm. as we came, we are trying. I see. Uh, and uh, yeah, so That's we are trying to uh, look at um, the elderly as well. Ten, yeah, mm. 10 elderly people where we're. Where, we will be providing blankets for them, socks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cold. Wow. It's cold. Wow. It's cold. Wow. wow. So, yeah, if there's someone out there that sees the need of helping the needy, mm-hmm. you are welcome. We don't need money from you. You can oh, just yeah. also buy Just come drop a blanket. Yeah. Wow. No, just do wow. it. Wow. It's blessing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Guys, this salon is now having the first year anniversary. And these people are already plowing back to the community. This is something beautiful. And I think this should be emulated by as many businesses as possible. Okay, now on that note, back to you, Melis. Is there any last word from your side that you would want to... Like this this interview will be seen across the four corners of Namibia and beyond. Is there any last word from your side, any Namibian out there, that you want to give to Namibians out there? It doesn't have to be related to business. It doesn't have to be related to your salon or whatever. Anything motivational, anything inspirational, anything with regard to us perhaps working together and supporting what, what. Anything from your side to Namibia out there. Sure. Okay, it's the whole list. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, but I will just say, guys, uh, let's hold hands. Mm-hmm. Um one thing that I would say is let's not forget mm. praying for each other mm-hmm. and let's stay on our knees. Mm-hmm. Life is out there, it's difficult, it's difficult for everyone. Mm. So if we, but we can, need to push, we need to push. We don't, mm. we don't, you don't give up. Yes, you don't give yes, up. yes, yes. However, tough you times, have, you mm. have to stand up. Mm-hmm. Mm. okay yeah okay no on that note we've come to the end of our nice podcast here in this warm place and uh yeah as the word went out there these people are still very young in business yet they are already plowing back to the community this is a very good sign so from my side as somebody that likes to support smes and hustlers, this is a this this woman is a hustler. I know her. She's a hustler. And with on that note, let this be an inspiration and a motivation to fellow hustlers. Do what you can. I love honest hustles. This is an honest hustle. So and these people should be supported. And uh, all the good things for the future. I wish we had some champagne here right now. <laughs> on that note, thank you so much for having viewed this episode, and uh, see you at the next podcast.